Hi guys, this is a revised edition of my Real Vision ENB installation video. If you have not seen this mod in action, I did a showcase video of it. I will link it here. You can go and watch that. It will show you the way it improves the game's looks and it really does make the game look a lot better. There have been many changes with ENB since I made the original video and especially around things like memory management. If you have not seen my EN Boost video, I'll put a link here and you can go along and find out what I'm talking about. But basically, ENB now does a little bit more than just uh, make your game look better. And this means the installation is slightly different. It is only slightly different, but one or two people have been a little confused because they watched my video and followed it rather than the instructions on the uh, EMB page itself. Now, this is pretty important. When you're installing mods, especially mods like this, you should still check the web page, the Nexus page, or whatever it is you've downloaded it from. You should check the installation instructions uh, for the absolute details. Uh, it's very important. Things may have changed. So the first thing I'm going to do is download the files. The file I'm going to need is option A. It is going to depend what mods you are using for lighting already. For example, if you're using Climates of Tamriel and Realistic Lighting Overhaul, as I am, you need option A. If you're using Climates of Tamriel and Enhanced Lights and Effects, option B, and so on. Just check down the list, find which one matches uh, your current mod setup. You also have to decide, do you want the full version or the performance version? I really liked the performance version, so that is the one I'm going to download. You also need the binary, and you get that from the EMB site itself. There are links on the installation part of Real Vision. And the author says you can get these files from either enbdev.com or, and he will gives links to some that are archived. Now, these are the two versions listed currently, uh, 217 and 227, but he's also putting a link to 229. So I'm going to assume that his mod is compatible with the very latest ENB, and I'm going to use that. Uh, and you can actually get that. You can check what the latest version is by going to ENB dev the link he's given you and in fact 229 is the latest version and it looks like the other two versions 227 and 217 are no longer supported here which is probably why there are also links to skyrim tuner's own archives anyway i'm going to download it from this site you can download it either from here or from those links as well doesn't really matter too much Okay, so I now have two files downloaded. I'm going to extract them out to folders. I'm going to extract right here. So those are the real vision files and these are the ENB files. So I'm just right clicking and extracting to ENB series. Well, to whatever it suggests. I suggest you leave it completely unchanged. I'm using WinRAR to extract them. You can use whatever archive program you want. I can now actually delete those archives. So I'm going to go in to my folder and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the data folder and I'm going to add to archive and I'm going to call this real vision ENB data files and OK. Once I've done that I'm going to cut that and place it on my desktop just to keep things neat. This, this is the file I'm going to use with the Nexus Mod Manager to install all the data files that, that are required. Uh, I, you can copy the data files manually as you copy the rest. I generally don't like doing that. I have a rule. Everything that goes in the data folder is handled by my Mod Manager. So in actual fact, I can actually delete that just, just in case I forget. So these are the files that are going into my game folder. Now, I do need two other files, uh, oh, wrong folder, from the ENB series binaries. And I am going to install the wrapper version. And the two files I need are the D3 
d9.dll and the enbhost.exe. These two files are needed. This is what has changed the requirement to have this file, the enbhost.exe. That was not a requirement in the other video. So I'm going to copy these into my ENB folder. And the only reason I'm doing this now, I'm install, uh, copying them here, is so that I can copy them to my game folder in one easy step. Because these are all the files I am going to need for the EMB to work, except for this data file archive. So now all I need to do is select all of these. I'm going to press Control C, or if you want, you can right click and copy. I'm going to open my Skyrim game folder, not the data folder. This, this, these files need to go in your games folder. That is the folder where you find the tesv.exe file. Don't worry if all you see is tesv without the .exe, but you see this icon. It just means your operating system is hiding the extension from you. Do not worry about that. Um, for me, my game folder comes under my Steam folder, Steam apps, common Skyrim. It will probably be the same for you too. And I'm going to right click and paste all of these files in here. Um, you probably won't get this. This means I've got some files from a previous installation that I left there by mistake. Uh, if you do get that, just copy them over. But you shouldn't get that if you've not installed an ENB before. Now all of the main files are installed. We still need to add the data files. So go along to Nexus Mod Manager, go to the Mods tab, go along to Add Mod from File, and I left mine on my desktop, and it is realvisionenbdatafiles.ra, the, the archive I made earlier. Open, and then find it. Real Vision ENB Data Files, and activate. And that is the mod installed, basically. We still have a few other things to do. You do need to change some settings in your enblocal.ini file. Um, you, again, it's in the Skyrim game folder where you just copied all of those files and you can edit it. I'm going to edit with Notepad++. And you are going to need to change the memory section, I believe. Uh, the first thing to do is to use the tool linked in the web page. As you can see on Real Vision ENB, I'm going to open that up, and it's going to ask me what sort of operating system I have. I have a 64-bit, and I have an NVIDIA card, and I have a 1 gigabyte plus graphics card. Show settings, and it gives me this. These should be copied under my memory section if I put them side by side. As you can see here, expanded system memory x64 is true, already set. Reduce system memory usage true, already set. Disable driver memory manager false, already set. Disable preload to VRAM false, already set. Reserved memory size megabytes to 512. So I need to change this to 512 and Enable unsafe memory hacks equals false, already done. You'll also notice there is a video memory size megabytes equals 2048. And you should set that to be the size of your graphics card. So you'll need to know how big your graphics card is. Now my graphics card is actually a 3 gigabyte. This is 2 gigabytes. 2048 is 2 gigabytes. Mine is 3072. I have a 3 gigabyte card. I then control S or save from the menu and my ENB local ini file is done. You will need to turn off anti-aliasing and also anisotropic filtering. Those need to be off for this mod to work. The same is true if you have them set using NVIDIA Inspector and also turn off any ambient occlusion you have forced through NVIDIA Inspector. If you are using that tool, I assume you have the relevant skills and knowledge to do that without me showing you. If you are not using that tool, do not worry about anything I just said. We do have some changes to make 
to the skyrimpress.ini and you will find that under Libraries, Documents, My Games, Skyrim. I'm going to open mine with Notepad++. If you do not have that program, you can use Notepad just as well. I do actually recommend Notepad++. It is a lot more powerful and a lot more pleasant to use. Go back to the web page, the Real Vision ENB web page, and you will see a list of the settings you need to change, or at least check. I'm going to select the first one, B Float Point Render Target. I'm going to copy it because it will make it a little easier to find. I'm going to pretend I don't know where it is. Press Control F. I'm going to paste it into there and find next. And as you can see, it's already one for me. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. Copy. Control F. Check that that is one and so on. I need to do the same for the shadows on land and on grass. Now these, the multi-sample, the FXAA enabled and the max anisotropy should already be zero anyway if you changed them in uh, the launcher as I did. Oh, I didn't double check, but I can confirm FXAA is disabled. You should disable that too. And finally, F gamma. and set it to 1.24. Now you can play around with this number and set it to what you want. It's it, That's a matter of personal taste, but this is the value the mod author recommends. So I can now control S to save this and close that down. Okay guys, well that's it. Yeah, you've got it installed and it should work perfectly now. I have only covered the wrapper version in this video and if you are interested, if you need to install the injector version there are instructions on the page the difference is pretty minor it's it's just different files you copy from the downloaded enb binary files no other difference apart from that uh, if you're wondering what the difference is do not worry about it un unless you have a problem with the wrapper version the wrapper version is the recommended version anyway i hope this video was helpful